gonna come to you guys when I'm fully awake and normally I don't sleep with my comforter on the bed like I remove my comforter off the bed because I'm very OCD about my white comforter because I've learned my lessons because I've always had white comforters and I remove them every single night when I go to sleep anyways I'll come to you guys when I'm fully awake uh, yeah I'll come Give me a minute. So I'm, I need to unpack this for one, but I'm cleaning my kettle because it's been a while since I used it, like literally probably five days. Um, and it, the water in Jamaica is very hard, hard water. And I've literally observed this because when I went to New York and we have the very same kettle um, in New York. And I used the water and literally when I made tea one day and I waited, no I didn't wait, but it was like a couple days later and I think there was like a little bit of water left over from the day I did make tea. It never, like the grainy stuff never settled. And that's why people can judge me all they want and say like whatever, hype, whatever. I don't like using, okay let me phrase it like this, I only like using kettles like this that I can see through in Jamaica because it gets so thick and the grainy grainy something then settles so what i do is um i saw well someone recommended it someone a couple people recommended it on my youtube so i really appreciate you thank you so much and i also saw people use um vinegar and water so like the majority of the water in this the majority of the liquid in this is water and then I put like about a cup's worth of vinegar. I'm going to uh, let it boil and then I'm just gonna throw it out and then let it boil again with just water, throw it out, and then I'll be ready to go to use it. So yeah, this kettle by the way is on my Amazon storefront. You can check out the link down below. It's Hamilton Beach, really like it. We've been using it at our house in Buffalo and at the apartment in New York. So yeah, there's another problem that I have. So let's, let's go look at that one. So I need to get some water. I was drinking this this morning. So don't mind my fridge. Like my fridge is basically empty and full of like junk food. So no substantial food is in my fridge. Um, I'm very OCD. Like I don't, well no, I'm not very OCD, but I do like bottled water. I think I've talked about that in my other videos before. You can check it out to hear my arguments. I like what I like and I said what I said so the problem that I have has to do with my drone so on my way home from Trelawney yesterday day before yesterday yesterday morning yeah I was going to let me put this over here because the way my looks day um I was gonna fly my drone and girl uh, do you do you see that <laughs> for some reason I, I think it's because of how I always just put them down in my bag um, I'm, I need to be much much more careful I used to have a little case for it so I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna use sorry I'm getting distracted I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna Put this in because I had a little cute case that I would always put it back in and I really need to get back onto that first of all I need to wipe it down that's a different story so with the drones we got little and grateful enough for me one of them did fall off in the bag so why is it so blurry sorry guys one of them did fall off in the bag 
and that led me to think it was the bag that it fell off in so i think i did see i did see this on the drone and i thought okay it's fine i never looked too hard to see that the other one was missing so when me a flight now me i take off my drone and lean so and then it just crashed like i didn't get that high it crashed into the little the little bush it literally did not come an inch off okay no it didn't come five inches off the ground so i'm gonna fix that right now me and you together the drones come with a bunch of replaceable stuff so like everything well not everything let me just show you what it comes with or like what mine came with it comes with these little things which i use to um you know control like a gear stick i think that's what it's called don't mind my nails i need to get my nails soaked off because this is my third fill and i've grown my nails out i got i got them cut down they were longer than this this is my natural nail length i want to start doing overlays now this one broke so i'm gonna see if i can get a not a fill but get it removed and if she can still save my nail anyways child that's not what we're talking about and then it comes with the extra things that you can plug in i have an iphone so mine is the iphone adapter but these are for android and like other phones so i don't ever use them because i don't use them and then you get extra propellers and extra screws so this one the screw didn't come out and then the next thing that they give you as well is the the screwdriver thing to you know um to put on the wing girl you know you know what i mean to put on the propeller i don't know why it's not focusing maybe it's too tiny to focus this thing yeah we're, we're doing our best so i'm gonna do that and then i'll be right back show you the before but you can see like this this looks brand new this looks clean i don't know why it was overflowing a while ago like i hope it doesn't happen as you see like it wasn't even full um but look at how look at the bottom that keep this image in mind keep this image in mind so like i said i'm gonna throw this out and then i'm gonna put in some fresh water and then i'm gonna boil it just to get that vinegar smell out of there and then we're good to go oh, baby. My drone is linked down in the description box for anyone who wants to know anybody wants to go get a DJI Mini 2 is linked in the description box. It's part of our RG. You don't have to be, but these are the rules that you need to follow. Okay. If you have a home based to get that position, you need to So Hey B-Squad, it's me from the 
future i'm here to share with you a quick unboxing for tasama's artesian expo this is happening monday october 17th at the ac hotel you can check out the description box for all the details the time location and a zoom link so let's jump into the unboxing so let's let's get on into it I'm gonna start by taking off the duff bag or the dust bag is what it should be called and this is how it comes out first of all the packaging is really really nice um i think it looks really really good i love black and it came with a dust bag as you saw earlier that's what it looks like so i can keep using this for other stuff i can even store everything that came in the box in the bag so I really, really like that. One thing I can say about her packaging is always well done, always thoughtfully done. I mean, as you can see by the video clips, like it's so customized and everything is beautiful. And that's the same when you get a product. So I'm gonna have to definitely do some more research and invest in some of the other artisans at the expo. But the packaging is always well done. You don't feel like you're getting a half, half, work you know you, you feel like you're getting your money's worth a lot of the product in here i'm new to but as you can see we got a lot of informational packets so it says volume one 17th of october 2022 and oh look it says hosted by me well you can't really see but it says hosted by me live performances and the location and when you open it up, you'll just see, you know, everything that you can buy, like all the type of products, the companies that you can support, about the organizer, about the sponsor, and yeah, all the information, like phone numbers, everything. It's always nice to support Jamaican made, local made. Um, honestly, I'm really excited for the food, the cookies, the cakes. <laughs> So I'm really hoping to see some of you guys here and I did post about them a while ago and a lot of you said that you would be there So I re I'm really excited to see you guys. There's also a little booklet like A notebook it says Toss Tama Artesian Expo and I did receive some coupons I will share some coupons with you guys in the description box and I'll also share it on my story because who doesn't want to save money? So I think that would be nice and I got a voucher, like a henna gift certificate, so I'm really excited to go on their Instagram, their website, and see what they got available. All right. <laughs> There's a lot more informational cards, business cards for all of the events. Not the events, but the business owners. So excited to take a look through that. And then here's a little welcome card. It says, hello, Bikana, so cute. And it says, thank you, it's a little message on the back. So I'm, I'm really, really excited. Like, I don't know, how many times can I say I'm excited? I'm really excited. So we're gonna jump right into the products. The candle by Daniel Olivia. Her Instagram is at danielolivia.co. So this is what it's looking like, it looks really nice. It looks like a wick candle. I don't know. Like, I don't know what these things are inside. I'm gonna have to go in the booklet and read up some more information about the candles. But it smells really nice. The next thing now ooh, is this perfume. Luxury perfume. It looks really pretty. So let's see what this smells like. I'm just gonna spritz it. Mmm, it's giving. It's giving like a musky smell. It's giving fall. It smells very masculine, but feminine at the same time. I don't know if I'm a good person to describe what perfumes smell like, but it's giving strong, independent black woman. <laughs> but we like that. I like the way it smells. It smells really nice. Next thing is uh, lotion. This is from, what does it say? Rash Royalty. I believe that's what it says. Reach royalty. Pink lemonade and it says face souffle, you are enough. And look, look at that. I know y'all can read. I know y'all can read. It says made in Jamaica. I love to see that. And I know you guys love to see that too. Actually, before I even open it up, let me see what the back says. 
let's see what this is on about lightweight won't clog your pores lasting hydration suitable for sensitive skin it says apply as needed to face and neck so it's a more of a face cream it's a face moisturizer oh i'm interested to see i really like the packaging i think it's really beautiful and different the next one now is from Keishan's. Keishan's Edenic Skin. And it's Body Butter Secret Crush. Made in Jamaica. The ingredients are all listed here. Jojoba oil, coconut oil, shea butter, cocoa butter. A lot more beautiful stuff. <laughs> and it says thank you for some supporting my small business. I really like this. Let's see what this smells like. Let's see the consistency. Ooh, you know what it feels like you know marshmallows like before you burn them this is what it, it feels like that i'm gonna go further down my arm so. it's a very light fragrance it doesn't smell too strong it's not overpowering so it says scoop a cherry sized amount on out of the jar and apply to your skin i'm gonna Keep rubbing in. I don't know, I was looking ashy before, but my skin feels really soft. Let's get on in here. Knots be gone. This is Tostama's product. Leave-in conditioner with mango butter and castor oil. You guys know I have braids in, as you saw just a while ago. But I cannot wait till when I take my braids out because her hair products are absolutely amazing. Like, I, I kid you not, they're really great. All right, let's continue on. The next thing, look at this little pouch. This is really cute. It's cotton candy hand sanitizing spray. And this is by, oh, it's by the same company. Let me find them. Where? It's by the same company that does the face cream. Ooh, I wonder if it really smells like cotton candy. Let's see. It does, it does really smell like cotton candy. So you know those stores will always insist on spraying your hand with God knows what. At least you can buy your own hand sanitizer now in Jamaica. Like you can buy your own hand sanitizer, but a locally made brand and it tells you exactly what's in the product so you will you'll never be unsure when you're spraying your hands to go into a store especially the government offices because them just very extra with it but this just like her face cream is made in jamaica there is another product it's a lip gloss from island cosmetics this is what it's looking like so i will just Put some on the back of my hand like a little drop like that i know this is not the best like representation you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna wear it monday so when you see me monday just know that this is the lip gloss that i'm wearing and it's again by island vibes cosmetics now the next thing is this bikini i'm gonna be trying it on right now but it is a two-piece bikini and it looks absolutely beautiful like the color i was showing chad and he thought the color was really really pretty like this metallic color is actually really gorgeous what i think is really unique is if you see the cut it has this very specific cut which i think could be very flattering now i'm not sure if this is meant to be the back or if it's meant to be the front but maybe you can do it both ways but i immediately noticed that and i thought that was a really cool idea especially the v-line you know, it just it looks good it's gonna make it look sexy girl and it does have a decent amount of coverage so i feel like that is the front um yeah so you won't be all cheeks out but if you do want to be all cheeks out you can be all cheeks out yeah what I realized is that there is another there's another product in here and it says handmade by Swatific for Bicana. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong. I will go in the book and I will put the name on the screen. It's just the handwriting is so cute, but I cannot pronounce this right now. <laughs> but here is their Instagram. I don't know, I just think this is so nice. I don't want to open it, it just looks so good. Okay, let's let's open it together. 
Let's see what's in here. Ooh. Samantha Fraser. Okay, it is Swatific. So I did pronounce it right. Oh, okay. Let's see. Unbox it together. So this is a business card. Again, I did get a bunch of business cards, but you'll be there Monday, right? You'll be there Monday, so you'll see everything. This is a headband. My mom loves headbands like these. I mean, I do too, especially for the days where I have to rush and you know, my hair not look all that cute. But mommy, she loves, loves, loves wearing headbands like these. So I think this is gonna be gone when she's here. <laughs> um, it does have a really nice elastic. It's just so amazing to me like how these things are locally made. Locally made. And then here is an edge band. So you know when you're putting on your wig and you're laying your edges and all these things. I know what this is for. Which is perfect because I don't have one. So I'm really, I'm really grateful. Let's open this. This, ooh, it feels like Christmas. It feels like Christmas. So, yeah, just use this to tie your edges. And this is what it's looking like. Just tie it on your edges and you're all good. And here is a, ooh, it's a bonnet. I'm gonna start wearing this every night, especially when I get my braids done. So this and this tied down like look at the material it's really nice and it's double lined on the inside so i think this might be reversible this is just i'm just going off first impressions but it does i don't know i don't know don't don't quote me on it don't quote me on it okay but it is your product when you buy it, you can do whatever you want but it does look reversible so I'm really, really excited to wear it. Very excited to see all of you guys Monday. I'm excited to see all of the store owners. Make sure you recycle. If you can recycle, make sure you recycle all of like, you know, the products that you like get, like all the stuff. But I'm really, really, really excited to meet everybody. And I'm really excited to try out every single one of these products. I'm super, super grateful. And yeah, guys, I'll see you. But even your most dedicated YouTubers forget to vlog too. So like, we have to constantly be reminding ourselves. I really love being into that luxury, like watching people live their luxurious lives. I've been watching like what's the channel called? Like in like home tours of like luxurious. I don't know what the previous angles of me looked like, but do you see? Oh my god, do you see my lashes? Oh my goodness, I am beyond excited. Like, this is beautiful. Like, I could honestly cry. My eyes were a little bit red, but they're clearing up perfectly now. And even tomorrow morning, I think, will be the perfect time for you to look at them. But, guys, look at my lashes soul view what i'm gonna tag their name right here also check out the description box for their instagram and number and website because what i'm a very natural girly like i'm not there yet where i can get like thicker lashes maybe i'll try it out just to say i've tried it out because you never know what looks good on you unless you try
hey guys so i'm choosing to vlog today on my phone i'm gonna use a cinematic feature it's looking really cool i just did a stop off at scotia bank so now we're gonna head to i think i'm gonna try to head to jps i want to tip the lady that did my lashes and some other stuff so i'll just bring you out when i'm absolutely sure of where i'm at JPS. I don't know, it's giving empty and I've never seen it this empty before so I thought it was closed but let us see. Alrighty guys, so my hair is not looking like how I thought it was gonna look when I took the tie head off but we still move. We're actually heading into Starbucks now to edit some videos. I'm gonna start working on the video that I started this morning for TikTok because I'm really trying to get my TikTok to 10,000 followers by the end of this month, which is next week. So we're doing something, right? We're doing something, won't give up. Um, and I also need to email back some of my real estate clients so for now it's going kind of good so i'm proud of that i got all my bags here and my purse behind my bag i got a compliment on my little outfit i tried to take some pictures by asking the security guard for help but i mean they're not bad but it didn't come out how i envisioned it so either way everything is good <laughs> Taking pictures in my mind. Got the sun in my hair. Alrighty, guys, I'm actually leaving AC, well, the Starbucks, because it's getting really dark. I don't know if you can tell, it's honestly just barely four o'clock, so it really shouldn't be this dark. And the only reason why is because there is a store. Look at our car, yo, boy, Jamaica and cars anyways it's um there's a storm slash hurricane i don't know what they're calling this one but it should hit jamaica tomorrow so it has been raining in portmore it has been raining in spanish town i should say so i'm just gonna get home especially because traffic and i'm not really here for that but anyways let me let y'all go. You see all these cars? Expensive cars? The light probably changed three times and I'm still in the same position. It's absolutely ridiculous. I don't know if I should make the left and then go down and go so. Or if I should keep going so and then go so. If you understand what I'm talking about. So make the left and go so. Then come back up so. Or make this right and go so and then go back down so i think y'all get it y'all get it right so i just put it in my gps put more and this route avoids congestion on halfway tree road you are on the fastest route you will arrive at 5 24 p.m i don't know if you heard that but basically it said i'll arrive at 5 24 it's like 4 40 something now um or 50 something whatever um about 35 minutes it'll take me to get home which is better than an hour it's better than an hour and a half because i feel like if i didn't put it in my gps i would have gone some long donkey route which i did not need to go um so me preach google maps google maps is my friend i love google maps sometimes it bring you on a dead ending on it swear kill me dead google will be like yep there's a road there there is no road there but for the most part it works out for me because this traffic is absolutely ridiculous i'm gonna feel for some wings some kfc wings i cannot believe traffic have me here stuck I'm
Oh god guys, the pressure is getting worse. today a daily vlog I'm actually gonna go get my nails fixed cuz look how look what look at this do not judge this one has been hanging on for dear life but I'm so glad it hasn't broken because I want to get overlay and I've grown out my nails now all of them except for the thumb the thumb one broke at an angle but I think that'll be fine this will be my first time ever getting overlay None of these broke, so I'm really, really excited to soak them off and have it just be my natural nail length. I'm really excited. I did a look of makeup. My lashes are giving lash. You know, the first couple days were a bit of a struggle because they were red. Um, not because of the glue or anything. I don't really have sensitive eyes. Um, it, uh, they're fine. I'm actually going into Spanish Town now, like I said, to get my nails done. The storm is coming. I'm going to buy some tissue and I think I'm just going to buy some chicken and some paper towels. Now is the time. Now is the time. The light is broken and it's ever broken right there. I'm actually super duper early because I don't want the chicken to sit in the car. I'm gonna just get the stuff after. Now I got some jerk chicken from last night and it's so good. Big up Shauna. She's on Brayton Road across from the KFC. I'm actually going to insert those clips as well. Um, I think I turned too early, too high up. So I'm going to have to go up and then come back around. Which is fine. I have time to kill. But not gas to kill, girl. Because, yeah, we don't got gas to kill. Because gas is expensive. But I did turn too early. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure it out. What did you think about Shauna's jerk chicken? She actually gave me a piece of jerk pork to taste. And the jerk pork was so god that lady shauna her hands she can cook and i see her owning her own store i see her doing big things it's not that much people out here considering it's saturday but i understand because there's a storm coming so i don't know i would have expected more people to be out here buying stuff but maybe they bought maybe they bought the stuff yesterday the skies are getting a little bit dark but not anything to be worried about it wasn't looking dark at all yesterday so you know but we move again i turned too early and i think right this is a one-way actually it's not a one-way 
Oh, I'll be fine. I'm gonna turn right there. I don't have to go up and go down. Anyways, let me give you guys some B-roll of Spanish Town and some drone shots from a long time ago. So it's not gonna be as dark as what you would see right now. But it is some drone shots so it can set the scenery. So I'll get back to you guys when I'm walking towards the, the nail shop. Alright guys, so if you've never been with me to get my nails done, I have like a couple videos of me walking in Spanish Town. So this is where I come and get my nails done. So the JPS that's right across LOJ, right here, literally, Shadow Mall. So the JPS is here, the mall is here, turn right. And that's it. That's literally it. And then it was just walk up these stairs. I don't know, it's not giving storm right now. So, hold on, give me a second. So here we are. This is it. You can find them on Instagram too, guys. Vimma Nails. guys I'm leaving the nail place now and I guess the storm alert is gone I don't know how true that is which part that officially come from but this is what my nails looking like again make sure you shop my phone case caseify link down below but yeah I don't know if I'm actually gonna go to the supermarket after all everybody I clean up and I clear up I feel some raindrops, but I don't know. I hear that it turned into a hurricane now, so I don't know. But anyways, I'm in front of LOJ, LO, LOJ. I don't know if I that's call. But bye. Yes, this is how I pull and well go outside with my hair tied down. I'm still looking cute, so nobody can talk to me. I'm actually hungry now. Should I go buy some Chinese food? Should I go and buy some Chinese food? I think I will because I'm hungry. And I mean, why not? I'm just going to drive around to the other side and then buy the Chinese food. Completely forgot that I wanted to buy water. And uh, hold on, guys. I'm just making sure that the car is locked behind me yes i need to find out if they sell water in here because i really don't want to go all the way over sovereign to buy water and plus when i come down i'm gonna take off i'm looking tired i'm so upset but i'm going to save the chinese place home what do you look like everybody close oh my god burger king is open of course the chinese place open still all right let me go buy some tissue. Let me see. Music is playing. So we're in Woolworths 
I think that's what it's called. They have some really affordable stuff in it, guys. Anyways, um, I really only want some tissue. Put them on tissue. Oh, they have toothpaste and them thing, the tooth. I need a new toothbrush as well. So, how much is this? Mega use my card. Uh, this is two thirty-five. Let me get the orange one. Yeah, definitely need a new toothbrush. Oh, it makes so much more sense. But this doesn't come with a cover. If this they have the cover, might I get this? Because I love the cover. That's literally the only reason why I keep getting this. Because of these covers. Anyways, I don't think I'll need any toothpaste. But for the sake of it, $400. That one here is 200 So what's the difference? The skinny is still. Alright, I'll just get this. And set it to shit them there. How much is... This is 285. Oh, this makes so much sense. Oh, guys, I have no hands. Or should I pick up a little basket? 285. Yeah. I don't even think my bill passed a thousand dollars yet. What am I doing? Car. I'm still come back. Oh God, I take the broke up one. All right, hold on. Let's do this. I really hope the card machine is working. Come back, Where are the treatments? Oh, up here. I can't remember which one we did use last time. Guys, why the music so loud? I'll be right back. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to get the chicken anymore. Only because I'm not going to. So I'm going to get some snacks and some drinks. Um... I need to find out where them sell the water in here. Oh, so let me just get a cup of water. Guys, shopping and vlogging is hard. I'm going to get... Oh, shit. I tried to not curse and it just sounded like cursing. Hold on. Oh, my underwear is showing. Yeah. I'm just going to get three of those. And what else? That's it because why? I'm not going to go overboard. Let me get some snacks. What snacks should I get? Many snacks. Many snacks. Snacks. Right? If someone want. Um. I think I'm going to get myself two rum cream. Boom! But I have no box or nothing. You know what me I deal with? Anyways, not my Oreo because. It's like me eye big. We're back in the car. We didn't really get anything substantial. Other than trailer. One thing with my Bluetooth, even if I exit out of this app, even if I stop playing music long time ago, one thing you know, when you connect and connect, I'm just kidding. When you connect to the Bluetooth, it's gonna play. Like it could be that I haven't even used Spotify in like four weeks. It a go kind of can play one song. Um, I'm gonna go buy water that don't sell it anywhere in there, and I'm gonna treat myself to some KFC. I don't but I want the Chinese food. I'm going buy KFC. Chad was calling me, so I have to call him back. Um, it's getting real dark. It's getting real stormy outside. Stormy baby. Stormy baby. You look like mommy, baby. Or oh, whatever she said. Now nah, it's looking real stormy outside. Wow, not me going outside in a storm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm front. You know, so me I drive. You're blind. Jump one thing in you know, a Jamaica and them always are gonna do something wrong in the road and then do that. Or do so. Like you know you were wrong. Like I'm coming. I'm less than two feet away from your vehicle and you pull out hello absence oh, 
so sorry. I need to stop ranting. I feel like I've been ranting so much whenever I drive and it's really getting, like it's getting to me. It's taking a toll on me, so. You see how dark it is? It's literally, it's it's just six o'clock now. It look, it's not this dark. It's not this dark. All right, let me shut up. All right, so there's this place that's close by me that does the water refill and it's $100 for the bottle. Hopefully the water tastes nice because you know sometimes it has this filtery taste or a grainy taste. So we're definitely doing that. So he took it inside. He's just going to film, fill it and then yeah. Actually, it's less than I thought. They only charged me $3.80. I did four bottles, so that's nice. I'm just going to put the change in the door. This is all the nonsensical stuff that I got, guys. All the nonsensical stuff. Thank you so much. Alright, as you can see, it's getting darker and darker and darker. But what I'm going to do now is go get the KFC because... Then I feel for cook again. I don't feel for cook again. And it's just me. Like... I do not feel to cook so I'm going to wrap this all the way around uh -oh. all right um yo it's like it darker darker well we're close to my yard still so wow that's crazy you know what I'm gonna go get the KFC and when I reach home I'll link you guys back because can barely see anything update the KC was really good and the storm never came so <laughs> that's that and I'm editing my video that's supposed to be going up tomorrow I keep doing this but in my favor every time I tried to edit it would keep freezing so that makes editing really hard but now it's not doing that so i don't know what was going on earlier versus what's going on now so i'm gonna try to edit an hour and 33 minutes down to 45 maybe 30 30 35 or 45 minutes and then i'm gonna go to sleep and then work on it more tomorrow but if i can just finish the edit i know i can do the thumbnail and everything easy peasy really quick so i'm just ending off this video here it was just a quick click of video i think it's probably 15 minutes or something i don't know hopefully because the editing is long i'm gonna shut up now so i'll talk to you guys the next time please like comment and subscribe and if i have anything else to throw in i'm gonna throw it in and if i already threw it in i hope you enjoyed bye